the great things uh, at the Dar uh, Darwin and Dinosaurs exhibit is these giant touchscreens. They're like giant iPhones. And so people can come, kids, a lot of them will gravitate toward this type of technology where they can come and they can investigate, they can uh, blow pictures up, they can learn about uh, facts, different facts. They can uh, bring images up from the timeline, which they can move around. This is from the 1830s. Here's a good image from the timeline. This is a sketch that was done of Darwin on the, on the uh, deck of the Beagle, where all the other crew were mad at him because he kept bringing all this junk onto the ship. And he was old tusks and bones and minerals. And they were always mad at him because he was cluttering up the ship and it was hard to, hard to get around. And you can go and look at uh, things like evolution today and, and uh, explore how we use uh, DNA. So here's an example. It's sort of like a crime scene. When people go to a crime scene, uh, what they do is they take the DNA samples that are found there. And if this suspect's DNA matches the DNA found at the scene, he did it. What DNA is, they can actually make like a barcode for a human being based on their DNA, and then they can match it and determine who was at the crime scene and who may, have, uh, who may be guilty of the crime. So this is a, a way for kids to uh, uh, explore Darwin's voyage and dinosaurs and birds. Uh, and you can always just go home. <laughs> and you can go and you can explore the voyage. And uh, here is when he was in uh, South America. Well, here's when he was in the Galapagos, which everybody finds fascinating. And here are the tortoises we talked about earlier, the dome and the saddle-shaped tortoise. Here's the blue-footed booby. And there's audio that plays the sound of the blue-footed booby, and maps and charts and so forth. So using this type of technology, we encourage kids to interact and explore on their own. So rather than f following the linear narrative of the, of the exhibit, it allows them to go, well, I only care about dinosaurs. <laughs> and so they can go directly and go, I want to learn more about dinosaurs, and I want to learn more about how they're in the exhibit and so forth. So here's a tree of the types of dinosaurs and other images. Here's a section on Mary Anning. Uh, which we talked about earlier. We have a whole case on Mary Anning. This is one of the diagrams that she, that she drew of the first plesiosaur ever discovered. This diagram is more accurate than the diagrams that they published in the geological journal. <laughs> and she hand drew it. She was a remarkable woman. This is Lyme Regis. This is the seashore where she was gathering uh, fossils. And very dangerous. Uh, landslides happen here all the time. And in fact, her dog was killed. <laughs> A landslide came and hit the cliff she was on. Her dog was right beside her, and the dog was swept away and buried. She wrote to her friend, if I had been one step to the right, I'd be gone. 